Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome to this lovely last day of the pay period on Friday, May 31st. How's everybody doing? Hopefully, everyone's all excited. I know I am for a beautiful day here in New York. Good to see you too, Phil, Mark, David, Brian. Good to see you, Chuck. All you lovely Cyber Traders. All right. Well, so far we're having a pretty fun morning already. Um, early bird gets the gets the money. Doing really well on the S spot. We called it out earlier. We were here. You know, what time did we start? On um, I don't know why my my level two is not updating on this platform, but but uh, we called it out. You know, we were here at uh, what eight o'clock this morning, and buck uh, sixty. It's already at two seventy. Uh, just told you a little bit earlier. I see a huge order sitting out there. He's been out there since I don't know. Just looking over here. Uh, on my execution system, looking on my level four, uh, big order's been sitting out there since 212. So it was almost like kind of like easy pickings right there. I mean, once it busted through two, you could see there's a lot of uh, resistance levels right now. So that's probably why it's not really breaking a any more of a new high right here. But uh, stock was definitely, definitely a great, great mover right there. It was a lot of fun right there. So uh, we're going to check that stock out a little bit. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about it. But what is the big news for today? Let's talk about it. You got the tariffs. Uh, President Trump just came out with uh, tariffs on on Mexico because they have this big war on the on the border of uh, illegal uh, aliens coming across and stuff like that. He's trying to stop that. And uh, obviously, he's not getting help with Congress. So what does he do? He's going to take another avenue. Now, once again. This is great news for traders, okay? And, and people are like, well, wait, wait, time out. Market's down. What are you talking about? Great. This is great news for traders. Look what happened back in the Christmas crash, right? We made a killing on the Christmas crash. And, you know, everyone – listen, don't look at politics on the side. For, for, for them to close down the government, look what happened. The market crashed. Then all of a sudden, knew it didn't work out. Got egg on his face, boom! He opened up the, he, he he funded it, and the market took off. That was a great opportunity to get to to get out of stocks and go short, and then buy stocks cheaper, which you always could have and could have jumped in. That was a great Christmas present. Secondly, you saw what happened with China. Okay, tariffs kicked in. Market's starting to take a big hit right now. Did you not learn from the first time? Did you not learn the second time? Now you're talking the third time, okay? So now he's running tariffs on, uh, on uh, whatchamacallit, on Mexico. Now, listen, I know they're a great, uh, you know, uh, ally of the United States, a great friend of the United States. But, um, and, you know, if you agree with it or don't agree with it, as a trader, this is great news for you because we're shorting everything across the board. If you look at some of the stocks that are getting crushed right now, you look at all the all the car stocks. You got um, Fiat. You know the, these uh, Fiat's taking a little a nice little hit down here, down five. Everything's about five percent. Ford, t um, another one taking a nice little hit right here. Where is it down now? Not terrible. I mean three five percent. Uh, GM. You know, all the car stocks taking big hits, so they're 35 to 33. They're coming back a little bit. Um, market's pretty much kind of hovering right here. But the good thing is this. If if Mexico doesn't do anything about it, this is even – you should be drooling in your mouth as a trader because the market should probably go lower just by seeing the 5% because apparently every month – um, if they want to, they are going to raise the tariffs by 5%. By October, which I always love October because we always get a beautiful October crash, we could be talking 25% tariffs on our number one trading partner, and that could really, really crush the market. So this could be a great, great short. Now, if he eliminates the tariffs, this could rally the market. You should have learned. And, and the same thing. If China can come over to deal with the United States, it could be a huge rally in the market. But as of right now, everything looks like a great short. And I know it's not the American dream to short, but – you know what? What it is is what it is. You know what? If it if it's if it's a catastrophe, what happened in 9/11 and the market closed down, or if it was you know a, a pharmaceutical drug got the cure for cancer, uh, you know whatever it may be. If it's Boeing, you know that planes are crashing, whatever it is. There's always opportunities out there. You're a trader. You're doing this for the rest of your life. Okay. Remember what I always taught you, and we talked about this in my class. Do not 
because I got fired. Uh, a lot of people in my trading uh, business, when I worked as a market maker, got fired because of this. When you start taking your personal feelings uh, towards a company, that's when you're going to lose. It doesn't matter what you think. Just go with the market, trade with the market. We are just the ants on the floor just trying to get the crumbs, okay? So don't try to outsmart the market. It will beat you every single time time always keep that in mind so we got a lot of fun going on now regarding about yesterday uh there were a couple of nice little stocks that did make some nice moves and um sure enough a lot of those day trades you know some of them kind of spilled into being a little bit of a, of a uh, short-term swing trade but let's talk about the obln trade uh that one was a fun stock for us a 50 cent stock went to two dollars uh, let me just change my time frame here so you can see what's going on. Stock had a great open. It opened up again nicely. I guess the rumor is we would keep talking about it. Uh, I don't know if it's true or not, but Johnson Johnson is going to buy at $8. I don't know what really the story is, but if it did, obviously, you know, buy on rumors, sell on news. That one did pretty well. And then the EL, the I don't know what the story with this ELTK, but this thing is just like everywhere. It's up, it's down. I mean, $2 stock, it went to like 12 I mean, it's just basically everywhere. The problem with this stock, ELTK, it is so damn volatile. So uh, you got to be really, really advanced to trade this stock. And we did this yesterday. You just trade little shares. Don't trade a lot of it. So that's basically what's going on. Now, we got a lot of stuff that's going on this morning. First of all, let's get back. If you logged in late, th this stock right here has been the best pre-market trading, uh, the S-Bot, this one up about 73% in pre-market. If you got here at 8 o'clock this morning, let me just change the time frame over here because we don't need to see this far. If you got in here at 8 o'clock this morning, everyone should be in at a buck 80. You could have traded several thousand shares of this stock. Stock's got great orders everywhere. Stock's doing pretty well. Like I told you, um, I told you earlier since uh, 9 o'clock this morning, I mean, actually, since 845, I see a lot of orders out there around 210 to 212. It's got to get it, it, all the way to 215. I mean, big, big block orders, big iceberg orders out there. So it's been basically hovering and sitting there in the time being. Uh, we got the ELTK going back on our watch list again. That's obviously making some moves this morning. Again, be, be careful. That stock is pretty volatile. IOVA. Another one that came up on my radar, a nice little gap up right here. Stock is up about 6%, 100,000 shares. That one's doing pretty well. We'll keep an eye on that in pre-market. Let me tell you, a big list for a Monday, I mean, for a Friday. I, I mean, I, I don't know if this really has, I mean, other than some of the pharmaceutical uh, car stocks because of the tariffs. Here's stock taking a really nice hit. Uh, looks a hell of a lot lower, breaking all-time lows. The stock NT and K. Guys, remember we talked about with last uh the last couple of days we, we saw what happened with uh uh with canadian with canadian uh uh, uh, uh was it a uh, goose you know uh, uh was it a g-o-o-s let me bring that up right there so you know canadian goose stock took a huge hit came back a little bit and you know what? You get dead cap bounces, but you know it bounced yesterday. But it had a really nice short. It was breaking lower lows uh, when it opened up. It was at 42. It dropped all the way to 36. So don't be afraid to short everyone. Which, by the way, um, Josh just came up to me and told me earlier that uh, regarding about the Uber trade, Uber shockingly is on the short list now. So I don't know if I would seriously want to short Uber. And I'm not getting my personal feelings involved with that, but it did come out with earnings. They said it was a little better than expected, uh, meaning they, they knew they were going to lose money. They did what they said. It wasn't as terrible as they thought. Now they're reporting. Let's see where it goes from there. So I'm going to keep an eye on that as a swing trade. GPS, and that's not the thing that's in your car. That is Gap. Gap is also taking a very big hit. I don't know. You know what? I used to shop at Gap back in the 90s. I don't even know it really goes there as much as uh, it used to, but Gap has been taking a really big hit here, down to 17. You know, I think that, you know, like I said, I know they have uh, some expensive stores, but not really doing too well, Gap. Another one's taking a big hit right here is STZ. $180 stock down to 73. This was a $210 stock. Guys, you want to go out there and spend, a, you want to go out there, you want to trade expensive stocks, go knock yourself out. To see how it's working out for you. We're not going to trade this stock. I'm just bringing it up to show you what happens when you trade an expensive stock. Because these things, listen, what was the, what was the one stock that we traded a long time ago? It was a $250, $270. It went all the way down to $9 in, in one year. 
Everybody remember it was like VTS, I think it was. I know they changed the symbol. You know, people think like these things don't take a hit. But um, it was like, v, uh, I don't know if you guys remember it. We changed so many damn socks. I don't even remember all of them. VRX, that's what it is. They, cha they changed the symbol, right? VRX. I think they changed the stock symbol. I thought they did. Yeah, it's not even coming up. They changed it. But uh, it's BHC now. I guess it was so embarrassed on uh, the stock symbol. But you know what? Look, let me go back a month. There it is right there. One year, 2015. Everybody remember that? You know, you know what's sad about this stock, the BHC? Um, I had a, I had an old fellow that wanted to be a student at Cyber Trade University, and um, you know this stock you could see it went from like 20 all the way to 270, and it came right back down. And I feel bad for I had this uh, old fellow that you know retired guy, you know um, just got just got retired, wanted to start trading. He loved found found us on YouTube, got, got completely sold on Cyber Trading pr program, but he couldn't take the class because he was so locked up in this one stock. He says, Fausto, I love you to death. You, you guys are great. You program. He says, unfortunately, I got a stockbroker. Um, I own the stock at one, you know, you know, it was I know it's 260. I bought at 160. My broker told me it was a great trade. And when I spoke to him, it was at like 140. So I got to make my money back. I pretty much got everything in this stock. I really don't even have money to take training, or I can't even do your program because I'm in this stock so heavily. You know, from day one when you're a student, that's the first thing we teach you not to do. Okay? We all know what happens when you put all your eggs in one basket. You want to go all in. Yeah, that's not really going to work out too well for you. And unfortunately, I felt really bad for him. But, you know, you can see where the stock ended up after a couple of months later. Poor guy lost everything, everything. You know, he worked so damn hard his, for, for the past 30, 40 years, okay, saved all this money. And he got some schmuck that made him buy this stock, you know, uh, just so he can make extra money on commission, made him average down, blew up everything. You know, like I said, we've seen it. We've seen it. Enron. You know, hey, how about my Canadian friends out there? What, 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 Nortel. How about Nortel? You know, I mean, like, it's just terrible. It's just sad. You know, and that's the beauty about, and that's why, like, I like you saw me yesterday talking about, you know, I did the free, when I did the, uh, we do open house, and I stress it. You know, so many people were there, and we got a lot of people that, uh, that, that signed up yesterday to be, uh, to do, to join Cyber Trade University. And you know what? Sometimes you hit a nerve, but, you know, I, I say this all the time. You know, and, and somebody was mentioning it to me yesterday, and I want to go on a rant about this because I know we got to get ready to the market. One felt once, once somebody says, Faust, did you lose some weight? And uh, I says, yeah, actually, you know what? I actually did. Um, and he said, well, how did you do it? I did it, I did it the smart way. I hired somebody. OK, it's enough enough to actually go out there and try to be cheap and take every single diet out there. You know, when you start paying somebody to, to, to train you and put you on a diet. Now you feel you have an obligation to make it work because now you got somebody else that's it's involved in your life. And uh, if you don't hear, he's going to tell you things you're not going to want to hear. And you know what? It's kind of, it actually it's the first time I, I would say it's working. You know, so uh, I want to see my kids when I get older. I saw my grandfather. I saw my my father-in-law in, -law in uh, Florida. I told you guys when I went to Florida. I took my family to Universal, and uh, I had to get my father-in-law a scooter. And I says, you know what? I'm not going to be that guy. I'm not going to be that guy. And and he's actually my inspiration when I run on my treadmill. I use that photo, you know, because it was the most inconvenient, you know, thing that ever happened. Sad, but you know what? S no different than trading. That's the way I look at it. No more pasta. I had I, actually, you know, I had, I had raviolis last night. You can do that. You know, listen, as long as you get your body moving, you're fine. So anyway, instead of going on a rant talking about me, a couple other stocks we're going to talk about. So we got the STZ. We got the we got the stock. We got the uh, we got all the um, car stocks that are on there due to the tariffs for GM, you know, and uh, Fiat because they all do a lot of work up in uh, between the Canadian and everything else. All right. All right, guys. So, listen, good luck today. Beautiful day here in New York, like I told you. I mean, it's gorgeous, but I don't think anyone's going to be leaving anytime soon to go out into the Hamptons, enjoy their summer home. You know, summer started last week with Memorial Day. But uh, but I think it's going to be a very volatile market. Market's down. We got the tariffs. Great news for all of us. So let's go out there and uh, bet, uh, profit from it. <laughs> you know, whatever it is, what it is. But uh, but once again, good news. S bot. 
just busted through that resistance levels. That seller uh, that I saw about 30, 40,000 shares got executed. So it looks like SBOT, you guys are cleaning up. That was a great trade. So hopefully you guys are caring up. I see the next resistance right around uh, 260, 225. So we're almost there right now. About 225 is the next biggest seller. All right, guys. Listen, good luck. See you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. If I don't see you, enjoy your weekend. See you back on Monday, all right? Go out there and spend some money. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy the end of the month. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.